Welcome in the 19th episode of the Sudoku tutorial. In this episode, we will go over some of the issues which has been reported regarding the Sudoku game. So there are two issues which I want to address in this in this episode. So the first issue, if we start the game and then we gonna go to the easy mode and then we make three mistakes. We, we have our game over panel. If you press play up to continue, as you see, all of the highlights has not been cleared down. Okay, so this is the color which need to go away once you press that button. So on your mobile device, it's gonna be after after the advertisement has finished playing. And then another issue is when you complete the board, I'm not gonna do it now, but when you complete the board and then you enter last number, the win pop-up window is not appearing straight away. You have to, you have to enter the last number twice. So this issue has been uh, reported below the last episode, below like, episode 18. And I want to just fix this issue because I think this is uh, this is something which need to be fixed in the game. Okay, so let's get started. Let's open our project, and uh, first of all, let's go to the scripts folder, and then open our games game events script. Okay, so inside the script, we want to create another event, which will be trigger our checking for the for the board completed. So right at the top, I will put public delegate. Void. Now we call this event checkboard completed. Okay, and we don't want to pass any argument. So another thing will be public static event, and it's going to be checkboard completed. And I'm going to call it on on checkboard completed. And then we need to create the public static void and then checkboard completed method okay so this is exactly the same pattern as we did in the last like below okay and then if on checkboard completed is not equal to null we just want to call checkboard complete okay so make sure you put this event in uh, sorry we're gonna call on checkboard completed Okay, so make sure you put this event in. So you need to have this event in order for this game to work correctly. And then let's go back to our to our Sudoku grid. And then inside the Sudoku grid, we have our, if you scroll, scroll right at the bottom, you have our checkboard completed function. So this function, if you search for it, you will see that this function is currently subscribing to our on update square number. So we need to change the subscription and then let's uh, inside the on enable function let's replace the subscription and then let's subscribe to the to the event which we just created so on board on checkboard completed okay make sure you call this event and then inside uh, inside on disable function we need to unsubscribe from the same event okay and as you see that's going to create a error because our event does not accept any argument but in the checkboard completed, we have the we passing the integer. So let's change the subscription of this, and then we're just gonna remove this int number from the checkboard completed. Okay, okay. So when you save it, as you see, the 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 problem go goes away. And then let's scroll down, and um, this is the solve Sudoku. So we just need to re remove remove the zero from here. Let's save it, and then let's switch back to our grid square. And then let's scroll down to our onset number function. So inside this function, we're gonna explicitly, after we're setting the number for specific square, we're gonna explicitly call to check if the board has been completed. Okay, so inside this F statement, make sure you are inside this F statement. So I will be here. Just put game events dot on check board completed method sorry not on check check board completed board completed method okay so make sure you you put the right event here okay so let's save this and then there is one more issue which we which i've show you that the color does not clear out after we restart the game so go to our on game over function and then on game over function, as you see, we're setting the color to white, but we're setting this color only if this condition is met. 
Okay, so we need to move this set square color white outside of this F statement. So make sure you're putting this this function call over here, and that's gonna that's gonna fix the issue with that uh, blue highlight stays on on the square. Okay, so now let's save everything. So make sure this this function looks like that. Save everything and let's go back to Unity. Okay, uh, actually before we do that, I just want to show you quickly quickly how you can debug your game if you have any issue. So we want to check the order of the function call for our when we're checking uh, if the if the game has been won. So I will just quickly go to our to our Sudoku Sudoku grid and then I will just go to the checkboard completed and I will just press F9 inside the Visual Studio so that's going to create the breakpoint and then I'm going to go to the grid square and then I will just put the breakpoint inside our onset number but I will put it inside the F statement so F9 again okay and now if I press attach to unity and then we start the game okay so so now when you press play and then easy and if you try to enter any number you see that the Visual Studio is stop execution of the code on the breakpoint. So we know the onset number function is called now. If you press F5, you're going to go to another breakpoint. So the next function is called, which is the checkboard completed. So the, the order of the calling those two functions is correct now. OK, so that's uh, that should fix the issue. OK, so I will just simply press this stop. And now we can go back and keep playing our game. Okay, so as you see, I made an error. Let's make another one and another one. So now when you press play add to continue, everything is cleared out and there is a just whiteboard. Okay, so now I'm going to check if uh, if the issue with the solving the Sudoku is fixed. So I have prepared the, the data for it. So I will know what number to put in the inside the grid. So we just quickly fill up the grid. Okay, so as you see, I have filled up all of this number, just one number left. So this, uh, this after entering this number, I should have the, the, the win pop-up displayed. So let's enter it, it's supposed to be nine. And as you see, the well done pop-up is, is on. And then we can press play again or exit. If we press play again, everything is cleared out again. So I think this, uh, this issue is solved now. Everything should be fine with the game. If you find any other issue, please leave me comments below this video and I will have a look at it. And if there is something critical, I will, I'm just going to record another episode to solve it. OK, so thank you very much for watching. If you like this episode, please consider subscribing and leave the like. So see you again in the next episode.